Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So today I want to do a review and, and demonstrate this East Wing axe that I had for about seven years now. And uh, this is not my definitely go-to axe to chop wood at all because it's only like, uh, let's see, like 30 inches long. But this is the axe that I take when I go camping because I don't want to take a big axe and I just need it to chop some, some wood there if I need to or, uh, you know, play around at the campsite. And this is lightweight pretty strong has a metal neck here so you won't damage you know your uh your handle if you hit if you actually accidentally have bad aim so yeah i did a review on some axes and i forgot to put this one in so i guess this one gets its own now it is a nice axe it doesn't weigh too it's not really too heavy but as you can see it's very very thin and uh since it's really thin it can slice through wood pretty easy and um finally it gets a little bit bigger on the back and it works really well, so let's get to it. First, let's show you some pine, small little pine. All right. That's it pretty good. All right. This is some hardwood. Can't remember which one it is. It is seasoned, a little bit easier to chop. bad guys that worked really nice so for small pieces of wood it's perfect so uh, let's try something bigger Nice, nice, we got lucky and it's a little bit rotted inside. Nice. It does slice through pretty good guys because it is thin. You just have to hit it hard enough. But like I said, this is a good camping axe because if you just want to play around with it, you can still grab it here or here, and you just want to play around at the camp since you have nothing to do. You can sharpen stuff, play with wood. So overall, guys, I do like it. I will leave a link down in the description below if you guys want to take a look at this or you want to purchase it. And um, I had it for, like I said, six years, and it served me pretty well. Luckily, I didn't lose it. Usually, you lose something like this because it's not that big of an axe. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.